up? What's up, fam? Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. What's up? Come on in, y'all. right i got yours Mm -hmm. (laughs) what up fam come on in come on in come on in welcome 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 all right sad our reality our real people real life situation and uh with us today philly wheaton is here what to do on workout wednesday and uh we had a good workout with philly wheaton today Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm You can see it on Instagram. He did some radio work today, too. Yeah, we put him in, put him in action. Did. I'm interning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interning. Uh, all right. So let's read that letter. We're going to start. Kenya, what you got over there? All right. Dear Sam, my mother-in-law, her husband, and my junkie brother-in-law just got evicted. For about a year, they borrowed money from the family, and as it turned out, lied about their financial problems to everyone until they got evicted and now have nowhere to go. They have packed up and what they could carry and with what they could carry and with what little pot, pocket money they had to stay in a hotel until they figure it out they have no real plan. The obvious problem is they won't dump my brother-in-law. No one has any room for them and my brother-in-law or money to pay for an apartment for them. I think the the rest of the family is fed up and is throwing their hands up. My husband and I are now at each other's throats on what to do as we have little money and only a small two-bedroom apartment. Plus, I don't want his brother here. But his mother says she's not going to give up on him, and if I had kids, I would understand. I just don't know what to do. Well, uh, who is this? This is her, her, her brother or this is her sister? Now so she, who was the who was the woman to her? Okay, this is the husband's the the wife talking about her in laws, the the mother in law, her husband, her husband and brother. her brother in law. Mm-hmm. That's on drugs. Oh, all oh, on drugs. Understood. Understood. And uh you should go get him some help. That's it. But um take care of the kids and the woman. Put, you like, take him someplace where he can see if you can put him in. Is that what she's asking? Well, it sounds like the brother-in-law is grown. The mother, his mother is holding on to him, trying to take care of him, but none of them have any money. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't have a place to stay now. And um, the her husband is wanting to help out his mom and his brother, but she's like, I don't want, we only have a, two, a small two-bedroom apartment, and I don't necessarily want them here. What'd you say, uh, Phil? I, I agree. I mean, I, I agree with you. You know, just deal with the women and the kids and let the male, I ain't gonna say figure it out, but help them in another, another way. Like, if you're uncomfortable with him being under your roof, I get it. I don't think he's a little kid, though. I think this is a grown man that, that they're referring to right. with this drug problem. Right. So it's just the mother in law, her husband, and this grown brother. Oh, so it's the brother. Yeah, her, oh, so her, hus- her husband's her brother. Yeah. Her husband's brother. Yeah. All they ain't got nothing to do with y'all. Yeah. They ain't got, I mean. Well, it's, it's his brother. It's his brother, but his brother, he, he, he needs to go get his brother some help, but not. Under his roof. Yeah. 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 But what about the mom? Okay, so do they have an obligation to the mom and her husband? Now, he's not saying that oh, this the husband is. husband is there too? Yeah, the husband is there too. So this is not even uh, her husband's father. This is um, the mother's, right, the (laughs) the mother's husband. Jesus. It's a lot going on, man. Yeah, it is. I'm I'm confused. (laughs) Okay, so the the husband and wife, cool, they together. Right. The husband mother comes with her husband. Okay. Which is not his dad. Got it. Stepdad. 
Okay. And the brother uh-huh. comes. So you got the you got the husband, his wife, the mother, her husband. Only person to stand with me is my mama. But she got her husband there. No, he's not. You would kick the husband out? You <laughs> These are men that gotta figure out that you gotta his bro- figure it out. Is his brother don't his brother have is his brother's on drugs, right? Yeah. Right. You go with your brother, be a big brother or little brother. And you help your brother get straight. Now, your mama can stay here, but you, y'all can't. I'm not doing all these men in my house. Well, she said she's not giving up the brother. She's not giving up her son. And if the the girl had kids, that she would understand. Oh, it, 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 yeah, yeah, when you do that, you put your head on that, that, uh, that, that uh, premium <laughs> hits the mic and he hums. Oh, oh, yeah, you're humming. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Comments, what you got? Mm. All right. Marcella said that's understandable, but he has to want help. If the mother-in-law and whomever else don't mind losing everything they had, that's on them. Why should you do the same? It's not like he's showing the family he wants help. He's bringing everyone down with him. Those who allow it, say a prayer for them and keep it moving. No need for the entire family to suffer. Can't help those who don't want to help themselves. Agreed. Yeah. But see, I don't. A lot of people in the house. A lot mm-hmm. of grown people in the house. Yeah. Like my stepdad, mm-hmm. my mom, my brother, mm-hmm. and I'm married. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a yeah. lot. Not mine. That's yeah. a lot. I'm, my, I'm sorry. If he, especially if the if the husband is working. Not not the husband, the house, of the, the house, the husband house, but the the stepdad. Oh. Nine three one Z A K Sam Silk Automatic Bonfire. No, <laughs> we're taking the letter from the top, and uh, Philly, you going I'm gonna let you start today, putting you to work today. Mm-hmm. Give your take inside of this letter, inside of reality. Hour. What's up to everybody on Facebook? Welcome to the show, uh, Sam Silk with a Y. We on the Gram Facebook, and uh, let us know your take. Let's read the letter. All right, dear Sam, my mother-in-law, her husband, and my junkie brother-in-law just got evicted. For about a year, they borrowed money from the family and, as it turned out, lied about their financial problems to everyone until they got evicted and now have nowhere to go. They have packed up what they could carry and with what little pocket money they had to stay in a hotel until they figure it out, they have no real plan. The obvious problem is they won't dump my brother-in-law. No one has any room for them and my brother-in-law or money to pay uh for an apartment for them i think the rest of the family is fed up and is throwing uh their hands up my husband and i are now at each other other's throats on what to do as we have little money and only a small two-bedroom apartment plus i don't want his brother here but his mother says she's not giving up on him and if i had kids i would understand i just don't know what to do it's not a healthy situation if you, your relationship is being strained because of all these individuals in your house, I don't say your mix, but your house Preach. is not healthy. Right. As Preach. much as I want to help, it's not healthy for me nor my relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you, we can't even be ourselves because of what of the other people that's here. You know Understood. what I'm saying? You don't Understood. want the judgment of your mother. You don't want the judgment of your stepdad. You don't want the judgment of your brother. So it's like... I, we can't even live in peace because we want to accommodate and help, but we're losing ourselves. Can't walk around naked. Can't. Can't walk around <laughs> naked. Can't smack your wife on the butt. No. You can't tell her a freaky thing. No. You can't even probably have sex. Right. You got to wait till everybody go. I heard y'all last night. Y'all was getting it in. Oh, man. I, <laughs> hey, son. Hey, hey, son. Yeah. Son. What you do? <laughs> I heard that. Nah, man. Uh, we too old for this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We too yeah. old. Yeah. It, it, I, I can see if you need help on bills, that's one thing. But I can't. I what can't. would you do, family? Let us know right now. 5780931. Help this family out. 888-409-0931. This is Reality Hour. This is the Fly Jack Time Joiner. What would y'all do, fam? What would y'all do? Yeah. More comments, what you got? Uh, Raquel said, no, no, no. And did I mention no? Never trust a junkie ever. When they are ready to get clean, they will. Mm-hmm. And Kathy said, sounds like the mother-in-law's problems to, to me. 
Why are you stressing and arguing over something you can't change? Right now, you need to start confronting your husband before you two start having problems over this. Let them figure it out. Yeah. yeah. Call. Sam Silk Show. She do better. She would do better to assess the overall behavior of the junkie brother-in-law when he's when he's high, so that she could better assess as to how he might behave if he ends up in that two-bedroom apartment. Because the mother of the bro- of the brother-in-law is not going to go someplace where she's not going to take him, and then based on that, make a decision on whether she's not cool with it or not. Because a two-bedroom apartment, no doubt, is tight for space. But this is an opportunity, maybe, to help somebody get into a, a position where they can actually clean themselves up and help the person that wants to clean themselves, clean them up, get, help clean them up too. So evaluate that before you go back and forth with your husband about how divided you are on it. That's unfortunate. I don't nobody really want to deal with a junkie except for other junkies. But evaluate it. All right, good stuff. Thanks a lot. Sam Silk Show. Hello. Um, yes, is that lawyer man still there? That was yesterday. <laughs> uh, I'll be a lawyer. <laughs> Look, uh, Gary Himmel will be back uh, on next Tuesday, okay? All right. <laughs> is that lawyer man there? Sam Silk Show, what up? Um, Sam? Yeah. Flat out, no. Yeah. Flat out, no, because there's nothing you can do or to help a grown man or woman, whatever. Still, that's no. No. A- anybody no. seen the keys in my car? <laughs> Damn, anybody seen no. my car? Where's my car? <laughs> no. No, it's too much. How you going to be going through stress for somebody else, grown people? No. You know what I did Life is with your car. As it is. No. <laughs> I don't care who they is. No. Yeah. Real talk. Thanks a lot. Bye. Last comments, what you got? Uh, Judas said, I tell them that you need people to get on your, you people need to get on your own feet now. Get jobs and support yourselves now. Not going to support grown folks. This mess will destroy your marriage. In that order, I agree. We'll close it out on that note. Meet me at for a karaoke night at Fouché's at 214 Southgate. 7 o'clock.